Welcome back to Fox News Saturday Night. So weekends are made for kicking back with a cold beverage, but Gen Z might be ruining the timeless tradition of hanging out at a bar. A writer's gone viral for complaining that Zoomers don't know how to behave, claiming that they do pointless things like pay after every single round. So is this bizarre or just the new normal? Joining me now in studio is tonight's panel, Fox News contributor Dr. Nicole Sapphire, comedian Jim Norton, and former Real Housewife of New York, fashion designer, author, and host of the Leah McSweeney Show, Leah McSweeney. All right, Leah, I'll start with you. I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, wow, I can't even imagine doing anything worse than in a bar than closing out after every <laughs> single drink. I feel like why did, I feel like people just hate Gen Z and yeah. want to find like any reason to be mad at them. Yeah. Who cares if they pay after every round? Yeah, I yeah, I yeah, exactly. Jim, is this real? Is this like a real thing that well, people I think are it's mad at? You have to pay after every right? You're, like, you're responsible. You're paying for you're not gonna be in debt. You, you you buy something, you're done with it, you buy something else. And this is a guy who wants to sleep with younger women in the bar. Uh, and they don't want to sleep with him, and he's trying to find something wrong. That uh, yeah. <laughs> see, I see it as very non-committal. It's oh. like you're either committing that you're spending the night in this bar, or you're like, you know what, I'm just going to fill it out. After this one drink, I may like it, I may not. I'm going to sign off right now. But I like to commit. I don't like to bar hop. I'm, I'm in it to win it. I'm there all night. So I don't know if I feel <laughs> how I feel about signing off after every drink. Yeah, Lee, I think it was like a little bit of an overreaction, though. Like, right, who goes to the bar and sitting there like, these people are out of control? I mean, that's not out of control to me. No, I mean, I think out of control would be stealing a bottle and then throwing it at a wall and then <laughs> punching someone in the face and then getting, getting 86 from the bar. Oh, are oh, you not allowed yeah. to do that? <laughs> I was like, that was, that was that was that was very specific. <laughs> that was specific, yeah. I feel like there's a story there. It was specific. People younger are dating on apps now, so it's immediate connections. Yeah. So they're meeting all these people that they never met before. So they're having a lot more worse dates than we had when we were growing up. So you probably want a system where you can have a beer, pay for it, and get out. You don't want to be stuck all night there with some dope that you met on an app who's using ten-year-old <laughs> photos of themselves. That's absolutely That's a valid true. point. That's I actually a really like good that. Point. Yeah. <laughs> And by the way, I tend to go to bed by 10 p.m. anyway. I mean, I'm staying up late these days, as you can see tonight. But, you know, I, I go to bed quite early, so I don't know. Well, social media, is it as bad for you as drugs? Experts are saying that excessive social media use has many of the same effects as substance abuse. They say the biggest red flag is when social media interferes with daily activities, which sounds like a problem, but what's the solution? Rehab? I don't know. Uh, Dr. Nicole, you are an expert. You I knew there was a reason I well, was here tonight. Because <laughs> you don't do drugs, I don't think, but you don't, you <laughs> prescribe drugs. Yeah. Is this, is it a drug? Yeah, I guess, see, you know what, listen, you and I over many years have talked about the perils of addiction. And when you talk about the many facets of addiction, you have alcohol, you have drugs, but then you also have gambling, sex, and now social media, you know, are they the same? And the truth is, yeah, they kind of are. They all elicit the same responses in the brain. It's a dopamine response. Yes, obviously, if you take some extrinsic stimuli, such as a cocaine, a heroin, something else, that physically stimulates these receptors in your brain. But hey, guess what? When you're looking at social media, when you're playing video games, your visual cortex is actually looking at these images and it has the same stimulatory reaction as if you were to take a drug like an injection or something else. So these addictions are as serious and the consequences are as dire. So I think we need to be paying very close attention. I have three children um, and I can see the effects of social media, electronics, and I think we need to pay as much attention as social media addiction, video game addiction, as we do with, say, the opioid epidemic. Well, Jim, can you think of maybe any differences between social media and drugs? <laughs> uh, I would say that uh, social media is worse. Because at least with drugs, you have to hit somebody with your car before strangers tell you that you're a piece of garbage. <laughs> Uh, and I was, I, That's true! I was reading about this and they were saying like, well, one thing to do is keep your hands busy because when your hands are busy, you're not holding your phone. Yeah. Like you're missing, like my hands are busy because of what I'm looking at on my phone. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Food and sex are the same addiction. Alcohol and drugs are very close because you can't be abstinent from food or sex. But this mm -hmm. one feels worse because even when I was getting high, I didn't give myself hours of fixes a day. You get high and then you were done. This is like 11, 12 hours a day of looking at people argue politics. It's stupid. Yeah, Leah, that's a great <laughs> point. If the average is two and a half hours a 
a day on social media. There's no drug that takes that long to do. I was, I, I agree. Um, I think social media is worse. And I'm not trying to like, you know, lighten the seriousness of addiction issues. And I'm a sober and clean person. And I think the opioid epidemic is like such a huge issue in the country. But social media is possibly worse, especially for teenagers. It's making them suicidal. It's, it's ruining the in the moment. Yeah, vibes. it's just not. Yeah, I'm just on my phone sometimes without even realizing I'm on my phone or how I got there. And I'm looking at someone's picture. Yeah. I'm like, who is this person? And who yeah. they, they, they? Oh, they had a baby. Oh, cool. it's like, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> like, who yeah. cares? Yeah, if you and, think, and you're driving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you think social media is bad for us, let's just hand over all control to the robots. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> We're told that Google is developing an AI program that will offer life advice to users. But Google's own safety experts warn people could become too emotionally attached to AI. <laughs> So, would you take important life advice from an AI program? Leah, I don't know if tech guys, everyone says they're so smart, but they apparently looked around the world and was, was like, you know what we need? We need more life coaches. Okay, I have to admit that I talked to Chat GPT once and <laughs> yeah. told them about some of my issues. Okay. And I wanted to see what would happen. It was a weird day for me. Okay. Like, I was PMSing, okay. I was lonely. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, let me tell this AI robot what's going on. And they were really nice to me. They were not I'm not going to fire my therapist anytime soon. <laughs> Look, yeah. AI couldn't be any worse than my alcoholic friends at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> at least I know AI hasn't ruined its own life and is still trying yeah. to give me advice. Well, at least your friends are a little disinhibited if they've been drinking, whereas AI is going to give you that research-based advice, and sometimes you just need a little bit more. Yeah, sometimes just an ear help, somebody to pretend that your problems are important when they're not. I understand that. I think yeah. A good friend, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, we've looked, what do you think? Worse is an AI life coach or an actual life coach? I don't know. The whole life coaching <laughs> thing is a little bit odd to me. I think people need, just need to get their crap together. Their captions? And they need to be keep themselves around people that you know motivates them. Yeah. But to actually have a life coach, I mean, that just means that intrinsically they're not motivated, and that goes back to parenting, the way you were upbringing. We're kind of getting away from really getting people to strive to be better. We're just giving them safe spaces and saying, you know what, if you can't achieve, it's okay. And life coaches, it's like, why are their Instagram captions always so long? It's like a picture of them in a bathing suit, and it's like 10 paragraphs about life, and it's like, Shut. All right, speaking of people who could use some good advice, George Santos, really, he really knows how to pick them. A campaign aide for the New York congressman is now charged with wire fraud and identity theft for allegedly impersonating House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's ex-chief of staff. You gotta hand it to these guys, they are creative. So are Santos and his team evil geniuses, or are they just worse at getting away with crime than other lawmakers? Okay, Jim. What is the shadiest thing you've ever done for money? Uh, um, oh, yeah. I disguised myself as somebody else and tried to get it for George Santos. Yeah. He's my guy. Yeah. I love George Santos. Oh, I, yeah. I, I he love is this an guy. elected leader of our nation. What does that say but about he's the best. us? Yeah. He's the best. This guy, he, he denied dress. He said, you're a cross-dresser. He went, no, I'm not. Then they yeah. showed a video and he goes, that was a party. Yeah. So I love George Santos. Anybody that works for him and lies, I'm 100% Team Santos. It's 100% uh, uh, on brand for George Santos. <laughs> It is on brand. It's exactly so what he's doing. Yeah, and and yeah. Leo, I think what blows my mind here is, okay, why Kevin McCarthy? If you're going to make up a lie, you can pick anyone you want. You think the person that's going to be the most likely to make other people want to give you money <laughs> is saying that you're for Kevin McCarthy? I, I like drag queens. Yeah, so too. I like, love them. So George Santos, I like him. That's well, I mean, I know. don't all politicians lie also? Like, what? name a politician that doesn't lie. Right. I, I couldn't name one, but the fact that they chose Kevin McCarthy, are you kidding? He's like yeah. the black sheep of, like, Republicans yeah. these days. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry, you're not, in the, you're not in the popular crowd right now. If you're going to pick someone else, you know, you should certainly pick someone to, uh, to, that people actually like. Yeah, you don't yeah. go for the... But you have to pick a guy like McCarthy because, like, if I'm sending... If I'm on social media, I'm meeting a woman. I never send my own picture because I'm not that great-looking, so I yeah. send a good-looking guy. <laughs> but you don't go for Brad Pitt because they'll know that's a lie. Yeah. So you just pick, like, a local male model <laughs> It's kind of like a seven. That's what I'll say. Kevin McCarthy is a seven. That is the, the whole the message of the show. Yeah, I mean, I, they say Leah that 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 you know that they fired him. Santos said he fired him, but he found out he was lying. I don't know if that's true, but it's funnier if it is because Santos would have to. Him. He'd have to fire. Can you imagine him firing someone for lying? Sorry, that's, exactly. That's it's like Lizzo yelling at you for being fat. <laughs> She's in a lawsuit for some sort. Yeah. Oh man, everything is backwards. Everything's backwards. But panel, don't go anywhere.
okay? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.